fucking alone and I love it. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> um, I do, you know, I do like to have sex though. Uh, so I, I do it, you know. But then I, I gotta kick him out in the morning. I've never felt like doing that to someone until this moment in my life. Is that weird? But I don't wanna be like, I wanna be a lady about it. Uh, luckily, I'm from the South, and I wear hot rollers in my hair every morning. <laughs> so, and I have a bathrobe, like a big one, like terry cloth. And all you gotta do is like do that, and then have a cigarette. I don't care if you smoke, just do it for a fact. <laughs> and then you go tap tap. This is your future. And they're, just fucking, they're gone. <laughs> they're gone. If anybody's like, I think I'm into that, then you just burn your apartment down. <laughs> What else can you do at that point, right? Uh, I like to think I'm a responsible human being, which is why I get my pap smears. Uh, pap smears? How many am I getting? Am I just, I'm an advertisement for not fucking me in this moment. <laughs> I'm not that bad. Uh, no, but I do because I, I, I'm responsible, but... Anytime you go to a free clinic or anything, it's like so depressing, especially when you go alone. It feels like you're there for days. And then there's just weird people, like a bum in the corner, like talking to a jar of free NYC condoms. <laughs> <laughs> there's always that NYC jar of condoms, like everywhere I go, I feel like it's ever it's like the mascot of New York City. But uh, you know, like there's another thing though that, that concerns me, it's like another jar. <laughs> And it's dusty, untouched by human hands. And inside of it is the female condom. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> no one knows. Nobody. Anytime you ask anybody how the fuck you use a female condom, they're like, what did you say? <laughs> <laughs> The female condom died in a tragic train accident fucking 18 years ago. <laughs> Trains were huge in the 90s. <laughs> what do you mean? I see nothing. Families torn apart. Come here telling me you see. <laughs> You're like, uh, all right. <laughs> Nobody knows. Like, I gotta ask like the bum in the corner. I'm like, oh. Okay, so you just shove it in there. This, this is what I thought, too. I thought that was, and it is. Shove it in there. And that's what's on the directions. It just says shove it in there. And then, like, there's just like a, there's a, you know, there's a icon of a trash can at the end. Like, that's what we're not going to understand. What do they think we're going to do with it? <laughs> They like hire a guy, like hides in bushes, because that's where like people have sex with female condoms. <laughs> Pretty positive. And then he just pops out and goes, No! Nope! Don't you press that in your diary like it's a flower. <laughs> it's very sentimental. <laughs> no! Nope! Don't you tie that to a tiny mouse, throw it out your window like it's a parachute. <laughs> It's very creative. <laughs> the mice. <laughs> and the cum. <laughs> mice and cum. <laughs> no! Oh. I'm sorry, that does make an adequate whoopee cushion. <laughs> and my job is done. Uh, female condom lives forever. <laughs> no, it's the worst. Uh, I don't know how much time I have left. Do I have what? What do I got? Ooh. Okay, I got 30 seconds. I found out all the things I want to do. What's the most sexual thing I ever want to do in my life? Like the, like the craziest thing? Number one, I want to dress up dicks in Barbie clothes and make a calendar. 